Welcome to Mindset. My name is Chantel Fitzgerald and your host. We are here today to talk to industry leaders at the top of their field to learn about how did they get there and what was their mindset to push through. And today we have Dan Steinhaus from Steinhaus Insurance Group talking to us about how did he get there to own his own financial um, agent or insurance agency, as well as his path to being the number one top agency in the area. So welcome my guest, Dan Steinhaus. Thank, Thank you, you so me. much for being here. Yeah, so I'm excited to learn about your business and how you became an agency owner of an insurance group. And you work specifically on the end of life insurance, correct? That's correct, yes. Yeah, so how does one get into being an agency owner, but first you started out as a rep for insurance and end of life care, right? Yeah, I, well, my professional career didn't even start out as that. So I originally actually was a, an elementary school teacher. Oh, yeah. nice. So I couldn't find a job. Um, I was working hard and getting nowhere fast. As an elementary school teacher? Yeah. yeah. Wow, I feel like they need more men, elementary school That's, teachers. Yeah, I thought I had an angle on that. And no, Nothing worked not out. So much. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, a girl that I work with at a learning center, I was making 12 bucks an hour, um, they're cutting my hours back, and they simply said, I simply just said, hey, I'm open to anything. Um, you know, uh, if you know anything, let me know. She goes, oh, well, you know, my boyfriend does insurance. And uh, give me, if you're interested, I can give you his info. I'm like, you're, you are want me to have him call you? I'm like, no, give me his number. I'll call him. Yeah. So I called and, and that was it. And then that, you know, the rest was history. Wow. Yeah. So you got this just from knowing somebody at wherever you were working. Yeah. And from there you, so what inspired you once you learned about the business to make it happen, to get into this full time and to give your life to this? You know, I was a, it was more, I was frustrated that I was, I couldn't really find or get the results that I was looking for, mm -hmm. not just financially, just in life in mm -hmm. general. And so I said, you know what, if I continue this route, I see, I already know what the end result's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, if I take this leap of faith, um, basically in myself, I'm either going to succeed or I'm not going to succeed. But this route, I know what the result, and it wasn't what I wanted. Yeah. Um, so I decided to, you know, become a business owner and get in the insurance field. Yeah. And it just, it took off. Um, it was, of course, you know, had its ups and downs in the beginning of changing my mindset. Yeah. Um, you know, going from employee mindset to now business owner mindset. Sure. Uh, so that took some time, but what really attracted me to it was the ability to help so many people. Mm. You know, there's so many people that they don't have any coverage or not enough coverage. And as you mentioned, we do focus on end of life. Uh, so, you know, people with uh, pre-existing conditions, we cover most of them. Um, so we're giving hope to people that normally, you know, didn't think they had any options. Um, our plans are also very budget friendly. Uh, so, you know, someone on a fixed income that's a, a senior citizen primarily, that's who is buying from us, can, uh, you know, afford something that fits in their tight budget because mm -hmm. uh, something's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. But what we also do that really made me connect with the product was our advocacy program. Mm -hmm. It's at no cost to the client. And they'll actually contact the funeral homes for the family. So the family just makes a phone call. They'll call a help hotline number. A team of experts will then... Uh, reach out and shop around and help facilitate the process and take that workload off the family's shoulders. So it mm. makes everything much easier at that time. Mm. Wow. So do you work with hospice actually as well? No, no. Yeah, that's where we actually draw the line in the sand. Mm. Um, so if, um, you know, uh, there's just a couple conditions where we can't cover you. Um, but 99% of the people that apply are able to get coverage, which in the insurance industry, life insurance industry is really unheard of. Yeah. So we're revolutionizing it. That's amazing. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about when you first got started um, in the insurance industry and what were some of the challenges? Because insurance can be very hard to sell and you're also talking about end of life, death, and having that type of insurance. And so I, I feel like that could be a very difficult conversation to have with prospective clients. Or not, I don't know. So I'm just curious to yeah. learn more about that. So 
it's just having good intentions. Yeah. Um, going out there and build, it's a relationship business. Mm -hmm. So you're out there going out, you're connecting with people they, and they inquire. So they've already expressed an interest. They've seen our commercial on TV or they've responded through the mail. So there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. Our goal really is to figure out why they filled that out. It could be because they just experienced a funeral in their family and now they have to come out of pocket. It could be because they just had a health scare and now like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't have anything other than through my work and I'm not gonna work there forever so I could lose my benefits and what's gonna happen then? Mm -hmm. I mean, my family doesn't have $20,000 sitting around. Um, and, you know, so some people are just shopping around. You know, they're like, I know I should do it but mm -hmm. I'm just not gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. For whatever reason. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's basically you call them, uh, have a conversation real quick over the phone, schedule time to meet with grandma and grandpa, mm -hmm. have a conversation in their home at the kitchen table, and you're building rapport with them. And then and the product, is, really, it sells itself. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're just engaging with them, asking some key questions, mm -hmm. and really getting to know about them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're all about customer service. It's not just a transaction. You know, it's a life that you're changing yeah. uh, because of, you know, that service you're providing now, they're, you're, they're family doesn't have to worry. Mm -hmm. um, so it became, you know, at first when I thought about it, you know, I'm like, man, I'm talking about death, you know, all the time. Yeah. But it's something that everyone is, it's on everyone's mind at some point in their life. And we make it easy. We, we help them cross that bridge from having that uncomfortable, difficult conversation. And once it's done, you never have to worry about it again. You don't have to think about it again because mm -hmm. everything that we have in place for our, our product and services that we provide is makes everything mapped out already mm -hmm. so there's just a simple phone call and, and that's it so to me it was just educating yeah you yeah know, coming from my education background sure I, I realized that i'm not and i'm not a salesperson right nor did i want to be i'm yeah. just here advocating and educating folks and helping them make a good decision to prepare for what's inevitable right yeah exactly we're all going to die so it's always yeah. good to be prepared for that and to have the insurance so that our family doesn't have to pay out of pocket to right. actually you know have the funeral for our loved ones so i think that's awesome so tell us a little bit about <clears throat> some of the challenges that you have in insurance in, in the business that you have right now mm -hmm. and a little bit more about what is your mindset to push through when it comes to the day-to-day. -day. And yeah, so tell us a little bit more about that. So uh, when I first started as an agent, mm -hmm. uh, the challenge was more so up here. It was just getting out of my own way. Mm. Um, you know, so you, your, your thoughts lead to feelings, your feelings lead to actions, your actions lead to some kind of results. So if you have, I call stinking thinking, um, you're gonna get bad results. So it's a numbers game. I know if I got in front of enough people, I was going to get more no's than yeses. But if I kept, you know, plugging through and playing with the percentages in my favor of how many folks I need to talk to in order to help one person, mm -hmm. I knew that, you know, there's always someone out there that needs my help. Mm -hmm. um, so, of course, you're going to get some folks that were grumpy and mm -hmm. like, ah, you know, I'm not interested and, yeah. and slam the door on you. No. It's okay. You know, it just means not now, at least in my mind. Right. Um, you know, people's situations change. Uh, so, you know, I learned through um, our, we have um, just self-help books have helped me with that. Mm -hmm. uh, one book in particular, it's called Secrets of a Ma Millionaire's Mind mm. by uh, T. Harv Acker. I love it. And it's mm. kind of the spine, the uh, the backbone of our, our agency. Secret and, of a Millionaire's Mind. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So it really focuses on your financial blueprint uh, in your head. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we developed was a green print because uh, our company colors are green. Yes. Uh, so is money. <laughs> <laughs> so is go, green means go. That wasn't coincidental. Yeah. No. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we have that in place. Um, some of the challenges that I faced, though, was, again, just, um, you know, traveling a little bit and then someone changing their mind. Um, so rejection. Mm -hmm. and, and I was okay with that. I realized that. You know, it's not going to happen forever. It's just right. temporary uh, um, inconveniences, I, right. I guess you could say. Yeah. yeah, I love that. And I love the attitude that you have with us as well in terms of, you know, yes, rejection's going to be a part of it, but you kind of took that as, you know what? I'm going to get through this. This is part of the deal. I just need to continue to speak to as many people as I can because mm -hmm. I know there's going to be more people that I can help and that I can support. Yeah, and it's nice too because 
with this, even though you're in business for yourself, you're not in business by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a business owner, but you're not on your own. And that's what really helped me because I didn't know anything about the insurance, sales, business, insurance, nothing. So I really had to learn, but I had help. Yeah. I didn't have to do it on my own. I had you know mentors that I could reach out to that if I had a question, I could just make a simple phone call and someone would be there to help me through every step of the process. Right. Uh, and then now, you know, as time went by, I started growing and you know hiring people that I wanted to personally work with and train and coach. And then now the the tables turn. Now I'm the one, mm. you know, helping them when they're in the home and mm -hmm. need some assistance with uh, with mm -hmm. the sale. So tell me a little bit about how you made the jump from being a rep to actually owning your own agency now. Yeah, uh, so in, I started in 2010. In 2011, I incorporated. Oh, wow. So yeah. right after. <laughs> it was wow, quick. that was really fast. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, expecting that you had to be a rep for like so many amount of years before you actually owned your agency. It's, it's more so when you're ready. Okay. Um, wow, you you're know, fast and furious. I, I won in 100 <laughs> miles an hour. I, yeah. It, That's amazing. I worked a lot. Yes. Uh, it was, yeah. So after nine months of me being in the business, uh, some of my, uh, you know, mentors that I was working with, they said, hey, Dan, you, you should start building an agency. We think you're ready. And I'm like, oh, no way. You know, what are you talking about? I'm like, I've only been here nine months. Like, trust me, you're ready. I'm like, yeah. all right, well, if you believe, you know, having someone believe in you sometimes yes. more than you believe in yourself yeah. can really makes you feel uh, special. Yeah, you know? totally. So, so I, I'm like, okay, well, clearly, you know, that you've been in this longer than me and they see something in me. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go out and I'm going to start recruiting. So my first question is, so what do I do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, just talk to people, Dan. Like, all right. Okay, I've been doing that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I went out and I, uh, you know, post ads. I did, I got good at marketing and advertising and then also networking, uh, war market and, you know, people that I've known from years past. And then eventually, you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. um, it could be, I had a gentleman that I actually went to college with and he just reached out to me 10 years later you know, after, you know, saying, hey, I'm interested. Yeah. You know? So you just, you never know who, you know, might, is looking for a career change. Yes. So you just got to be the right person at the right place at the right time. Right. Wow. Well, I want to talk more about that. We do have to go yeah. to break. So let's okay. find out more about how these people are, are coming to you. But also, mm -hmm. um, you mentioned something on social media about your structure and strategy in, in terms of how you plan your day. And I would love to get into that okay. a little bit more as well. Sure. So we have to run to break, but we will be right back in just a few minutes to talk to Dan. See you soon. What does it take to let them know that we stand behind them, wherever they are? What does it take to bridge the distance and keep them connected to family, home, and country? And what does it take to prepare them for their future when their service to the nation is complete? What does it take to strengthen our service members so they can be the greatest force for good in the world? It takes a force. Be a force behind the forces. Share a message today at force.uso.org. I want to be a contender. I want a warm belly to sleep on. A big house. How do I look? Do, do I look good? I want to play hard. My nails done once a month. I want. I want. I want a home. I just want a home. I want someone to love. Last year, more than 30,000 companion animals came to us without homes. 20,000 of them were felines. Let's make some homes together. QG Medicare Cup. All right, welcome back. We are here with Dan Steinhaus, agency owner of Lincoln Heritage Insurance Group. And we were just talking about how um, you had a friend that after 10 years of working in your business, he came to you and said, hey, I'm really interested, looking for a career change. And you know, people are starting to see the success, but also the value that you provide for your clients mm -hmm. when it comes to end of life care. So tell us a little bit about how do you recruit people um, to be a part of okay. your agency? It's a, it's a pretty simple process. You know, all you need is, um, the ter in terms of qualities mm -hmm. of what you need to be successful is simply have a good heart, mm. um, have a good work ethic, 
and uh, have a good attitude. And you have those three things, and it's a triple threat. You mm. can you, you can almost ex you can experience success instantaneously. Yeah. And it's but it's not a sprint; it's a marathon at mm -hmm. the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, to get started, it's it's a pretty simple process. It's two steps. Uh, each state has different insurance requirements, mm. and. Um, so typically what they are is take a prep course and you can finish that in about seven days and it costs maybe around a hundred bucks, give or take. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get your insurance license and you only need the life and annuities license. Uh, you don't need health and that's around a hundred questions and typically 70% is passing. Mm. So once you do that, the whole process takes about two to three weeks if you do it, if you really, you know, put mm -hmm. in the the Effort. hustle muscle, yes. the sweat equity into that. Sure. And then uh, once you do that, then you pass the exam, we train you. So you just wait for the state to approve you. While you're waiting for the state to approve your official license, you've already passed the exam. We take you out in the field. We teach you everything you need to know. We send you to our uh, training uh, university that we have at our office. Mm. Um, and then we role play. And it's very, it's very hands-on. So yeah. you don't need any experience, actually, to be good at this. We have people from all different backgrounds, from construction to from you know education, uh, already sales, uh, insurance sales as mm -hmm. well. Uh, so yeah, you don't need sales experience either. Right, Just, wow, because they it's kind of like a one-stop shop. They teach you everything that you need to yeah. know. And it sounds like it's a very supportive environment as well. You have a lot of mentors. They yes. have you as somebody who's been so, success, so successful, particularly in the first year that you went into it. Um, and so they have a lot of support around them to really mm -hmm. help them to get to the level that you are. Now, I noticed this big flashy ring oh. on your hand, and I was yes. wondering a little bit more about that. You've been, yes, look at that. It looks like a Super Bowl ring. It feels like one. <laughs> it's massive. Yeah. So tell us about that. Clearly there are incentives, right, for doing yes. amazingly well in your business, right? Yeah, we have uh, incentives to, uh, for, for leads, uh, we have incentives for trips, we have incentives just for you know recognition. There's, it, it really has, it's a complete business in a box. Everything you could possibly want and need is there. Or you can even qualify for health benefits. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so much there to offer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're always looking for ways to be innovative and uh, you know, tr of course, attract more people to our business because a lot of people think oh, it's too hard. I, yeah. I don't think I could do it, but you really, I don't have the skill set. But really, you do. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just bringing out that inner greatness in people, and you know, keeping them motivated and keeping it fun. Right. You know, it's how a, do you keep it fun? Uh, it's it's a work hard, play hard uh, environment. You know, we it's it's the people that make it fun. Yeah. You know, the the product and the company is is phenomenal to our corporate office. It's they, it's a family owned company. Yeah. So the insurance carrier is. And uh, our agency, you know, we have get-togethers at our houses. We go out. Uh, we have family events. We bring the kids and let's go here. Mm -hmm. So uh, we really we make it really engaging. It's a team and it's a family environment. And, you know, that's it's really you know, the, the core of the people that make it so great. Mm -hmm. And that's what our biggest focus is, though, is personal development, because the bigger and better you are yeah. you know, as an individual, the bigger and better your business can be. Right. You know, so you got to think big to, to get, you know, to for big, get bigger results. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And that's such a great, um, in, like culture to yeah. create is work hard, play hard. And the fact that you, and I know we've spoken before and I remember you were telling me how you were going to have, you know, a bunch of your, um, colleagues coming over to your home and, you know, just watching a football game or yeah. just having fun and, and this atmosphere of family as you describe it as yeah, well. Yeah, a lot of people, fun. they complain about their coworkers and they're like, I can't wait to get home so I can get away from them. Yeah. We're the opposite. Yeah. They're like, oh, I can't wait to get out of the field so we can go hang out. Right. You know, so because when you're in the field as an agent, you know, you're just you in the road, the windshield, your thoughts yes. uh, and your interactions with the clients. Yes. Uh, so it can be very lonely, but you'll with this, you'll never feel like you're on an island by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll never feel isolated unless you choose to. We have a, uh, an app called GroupMe that we use. It's like an online chat. Mm -hmm. uh, we have conference calls and they're very, up they're not just they're not rah rah. It's right. we're specifically teaching you from the leaders in our company, from in our industry, of how to be successful in the business. So yeah. you're learning from the best of the best. Yeah, yeah, that is so good, yeah. and you know that you're getting 
good personal and professional development when you mm -hmm. go out there because yeah it, it can be hard when you were talking about you're on the road by yourself um maybe getting rejections and you mm -hmm. just feel like oh nothing is working i'm trying everything i can but the mindset of you know what i just need to talk to more people and yeah. you know what I've got a great boss in Dan who's going to inspire me or encourage not me. A boss. Right? <laughs> I'm not a boss. <laughs> or I'm sorry, <laughs> what should I say? Or a colleague, coach. right? Or a coach. Okay, partner, okay. Partner, friend. Okay, okay, yeah. perfect. A, a partner, yeah. a friend, a coach. I'm not a boss. Um, I'm not a boss, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to use that word. Oh, um, but yeah, no, but I think that's great that you cultivate such an, an environment of family and friends yeah. and hard work and knowing that you're there to be supportive in that. And I guess that's why you've stayed and have been in this business for a decade or close to. Yeah, it's my home. Yeah. It really is. I've, I've thought about it, like what would I do if Steinhaus Insurance Group wasn't here or you know, our, our carrier wasn't here? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mm -hmm. really don't know. I'd be lost. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, this is my end game. You know, this is the, yeah. the path that I'm going to retire with. And it just keeps getting bigger and better every year because there's a huge market yeah. that's untapped, especially in the Philadelphia area. Mm. You know, there's just, and really just in, across the um, United States, there's right. an untapped market. You know, so, you know, we're, uh, the, the most coverage that we go up to is just basically enough to cover funeral expenses. So mm -hmm. it's not like we're writing these massive, huge policies. Our, our strategy, really, our business strategy is volume. Mm. So value and volume, mm -hmm. you know, we deliver results. We keep our promises to our agents and to our clients. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the, and we, we, we help a ton of people. Mm -hmm. Now, is there an, and is there, I guess, since there's volume, so you're constantly looking for more people um, to help and be a part of your team. Mm -hmm. But also when you say untapped, really you're just looking for more people to make sure that they are insured and more people to make sure they have the resources available for end of life, correct? Yes, so yeah. the, the clientele base is there. So what that means for anyone coming on board with our team, of course we have to interview you and sure. you know, uh, all that stuff. So, uh, but it means job stability. Mm -hmm. It means uh, career longevity. Mm -hmm. longevity. Mm -hmm. uh, it means that you can also retire here, you know, with with our agency. Yeah. And have, have a very fruitful career. I mean, we've been on trips to Hawaii, to Munich, Germany, to uh, Banff, Alberta, Canada, uh, Panama. We're going to Santiago, Chile this year. Oh, awesome. And the corporate support at our home office, which is uh, based out in Phoenix, they're super friendly and super nice. It's It's not, you know hey, wh why are you bothering us type yeah. of atmosphere? They're, they want to get to know you. Right. Um, so, and that, that culture transcends, you know, to the local agencies mm -hmm. as well. I think that's yeah. so awesome. And you know what? There's a lot of people out there looking for work. And there's a lot of people, mm -hmm. and I, I'm always on LinkedIn, and people looking for opportunities, people looking for jobs or they can't get a job or they've um, applied to so many opportunities and they just don't hear back or no one's yeah. calling them or they've gone through several interviews and still nothing. Yeah. But it seems like this could be a really great opportunity for those people that are looking, that feel stuck, that seem to put their resume out there so many times and yeah. get rejected. This seems like it could be a really great opportunity for them. I was, um, I was talking to a, a lady the other day, and she said within a seven-year period um, of working at this one, they got bought out or, or new management and restructuring five different times. Wow. I'm no, sorry. With five different times within her seven-year career or stint doing different things, she had to find a new job. So five times yes. she had to find a new job because they restructuring or whatever the case may be. And that can be, you know, if you, you find a company you like, you're like, oh, I don't want to do anything. But then there's always different variables that are out of your control. Mm -hmm. uh, life happens, think, you know, uh, things happen in the corporate world too. Mm -hmm. And with this, you are the, the master of your own ship, mm -hmm. you know, so, or the captain of your own ship. Uh, so you really have control over, over your future. You mm -hmm. don't have to worry about, you know, 
getting bought out or being laid off. Or, mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to worry about the economy either mm -hmm. because our numbers continue to rise despite mm -hmm. what the economy is doing. Right. We're in our own little bubble. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a good bubble to be in. Totally. There's yeah. safety and there's stability in what yeah. you're doing. Job and security, yeah. Then that's huge these days because so many people are bouncing from one job to another or just having yeah. a really hard time finding their next gig and what that is. So I think that, you know, your company really can offer people not only uh, stability, but a job where they can feel and find a family and value and also bring yeah. value to other people. Yeah, it's and you can leave a legacy behind too. Mm. So this is a business opportunity where you could actually, if you pass away or if you want to retire, your children can take, your, your own kids can mm. take over your business. Wow. And they don't have to start from scratch. Yeah. And it's residual. So the bigger your clientele base gets, and the bigger your agency gets, the more residual income that you create. And you know, you, if let's say something happens to you and you can't work for a month mm -hmm. because you broke your leg or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, you still have money coming in. Mm -hmm. Where you know some people, or, or if you, uh, I don't, you know, get ill and you're out for a few months, you know, that you still have money coming in. You don't have to worry about, oh my right. goodness, what am I going to do? Right. Right. Wow, that is fantastic. And. It, it builds such a great opportunity for people to find this, oh, maybe I found a home here. Yeah. <laughs> I found a family. I am, you know, I've, I've created stability and also long-term sustainability because of the revenues that keep coming mm -hmm. after building your own agency as well. So that's really incredible. Um, how, if people are interested in yeah. wanting to learn more, um, perhaps maybe being on your team, if they have yeah. those three things of, remind me, heart and passion. No, you didn't say passion. <laughs> good attitude. Good uh, attitude. A good heart and, and a good work ethic. And a good work ethic, yes. yes a good work ethic, heart and attitude. So yeah. if there's people out there watching this right now yep. and saying, you know, that's me, that's me. I, I have all of those three things. How would they be able to contact you and learn more? So uh, simply by going to uh, lincolnforlife.com. Um, also our, uh, our recruiting office number is 1-800-433-4425. Uh, so you can go there or again, lincolnforlife.com, just like Abraham Lincoln. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It was so awesome to talk Thank to you. Thank you for having me. This is great. Yeah, this was awesome. And this was great because we learned so much more about the insurance industry and what a community it can bring and the value mm -hmm. that it can bring for other people as well. So thank you so much for being here. We are so grateful and we had such a great conversation learning about the family, the friends that can be developed in Steinhouse Agency Group, our insurance group, and we are looking forward to seeing you here next week. Thank you so much for joining us and see you soon.